Quentin, Toya. This segment is called Pick Your Mount. Reggae party or soca party? Reggae. How do you like your men? Slim or thick? Slim. Cuddling or foreplay? Both. What you wearing? Boy shorts or thongs? Underwear. No ice or no chaser? No chaser. Reggae or soca? Reggae. Junglis or shy girl? Mixture. Facebook or IG? Facebook. Alphas or Kappa? Of course, Kappa. <laughs> Shade Room or Bahamas News, my boy? Shade Room. <laughs> this segment has been called. So the big talks. This is episode five. Yes. And it's let me count. Let me not shame myself. One, two, three, four. It's five of us. So y'all go play that number. Yeah. Five. Five. Um. Just five. Just five. 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 Boom. Ha, we could get into that later. <laughs> Mandisa, Hello. let the people know where to find you. Hey guys, Mandisa Kerr on LinkedIn and Facebook. Mandisa Lady Seven on Twitter and Mandisa Lady on IG. Lily, Lily, y'all see Lily top? She I is fashionable. I'm freaking out over it. Like Lily, she got all the you have to it, you have to come like with a different accent, no? Yes, and I need you to put the knocks in the front. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I'm Elenise. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at e l l e a n i s e. And we have two guests. Usually when we have two guests, they are like a group or something. But these are like two totally different people. Yes. Um, and ladies first. So you guys know her. But if you don't, the she's going to tell you who she is. Well, this is Latoya Laughs. I do comedy. I post Bohemian skits on Facebook and Instagram. My Instagram is Latoya Laughs. And my Facebook is Latoya Dean. Oh. Awesome. Y'all got to check it out. Dean. Didn't know that. I was, I was, call, I was called. Oh. What? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Long story. I, I was know I'm not married. Okay. I was we, just, we, I was still calling you Mrs. La- Mrs. Story. We coming back to that. You know? Because this is probably. Okay. And last but certainly <laughs> not least to my right. You want to let the people know who you are? Yes. Mr. Quentin. Uh, my name is Quentin Lightborn. Uh, you can find me on Instagram Q dot Lightborn on Facebook Quentin Lightborn and on Twitter Q underscore Lightborn. All right. So, how was you guys week going? Stressful. What? Why? You couldn't it's drink. The, and you couldn't no, drink. No, I drive. can't drink. <laughs> that is your problem. <laughs> I mean, you know. For those who don't know, I'm in school and I'm <laughs> winding down. You know, the semester's winding down, getting ready to graduate. And yes. Everything is due. Oh, everything is due. Everything. Lily, Lily is our superwoman. You know, she goes to school, she does the news, and she somehow makes it air. Yes. By the and grace of God. Yes. Managed to skim Ain't. through conversations. <laughs> now you understand. I understand now. Ain't, I'm here for Ain't it. God good. Well, I know one thing none of us went to, except for Toya, was the Elevation Awards. <laughs> well, Quentin, did Just you go? Saying. I guess not this girl. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're good. We're good. It's Toya. So... <laughs> I mean, you know, just just saying, you know, it'd be nice. Thank you guys. Think? I feel like that's shade. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Elevation Awards people? Yeah, just that was shade. Twilight, was, like, no, how was no. it? <laughs> it, was, it was a good show. It was? It was a bit long, but it was good. You were nominated? Yes. Oh, what category? 
people's choice. Nice. Awesome. Who all was in that category? I saw Between Trees. The Essence Band, uh, Sebas, Gina Knowles. Um, all right, Gina won. Christian Adam G and Bodine. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, had Gina won. Gina. Had notes. Ah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I did see her with the picture. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it was like, it was a big crowd. It, it was that they moved it, right? To Delta. Okay. Maybe oh, next year else. we'll be able to all tell the story. Yes. Quentin, <laughs> how was your week? Uh, my week is pretty good. <laughs> Busy, doing a whole lot of stuff. Because he seems sad over here that he didn't go to the elevation. We're all sad. I don't know. Toya went on our behalf. Yes. So yes. she's here now. To and she the wore all the regalia. <laughs> yes. Because I don't know if yes. you saw her picture. She, I was like, yes. I thought it was a dress. And then she was like, statement piece. I was like, yes. what? Elevation. Yes. Come through. Yes. Ashes Beauty Loft. Freeport. Region Center. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a Freeport gal. Freeport gal. Yes. You know, they different. It's different. I love Freeport though. Fish. Oh, fish and vine gigs. That's all I come there for. That's best standing. The best end. <laughs> That's all I come there for. Um, speaking of week, um, Kodak's been having a really an horrible interesting week. Month. Yeah. Um, shooting his shot at Lauren. How y'all feel about that? Shooting his shot at Lauren and everybody attacking him, saying disrespectful. I saw that they took him down from the trap museum. They, they took it down, but the thing is, right? I don't know why people are getting upset about. We should expect this from Kodak Black. Sorry, I'm not surprised. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. This from him. So I don't know why on the outrage, people going crazy. Oh, why is he doing this? We glorify him with his crazy antics and crazy mm-hmm. lyrics. His rude ass. Yeah. And when he was on the boat, yeah, let me drive the boat. It was funny. It was Drag laughable. Boat. But now, you know, he's saying something out of pocket. And I'll be upset. So like, I think, you know, the media is kind of crazy. But like, I'm not surprised exactly at all by what he said. Well, they muting him now, right? Or they not playing his stuff? I feel like it's a bit much to go to the mute part. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then I saw where somebody compared his situation to Stevie J and Biggie. Y'all feel like that's a fair comparison? Oh. Damn. Oh, well, Didn't they <laughs> marry his friends? Oh. They ain't really friends, though. So. No, him and Biggie. No, I know what you're no, saying. No, I mean, you're saying Kodak and, Nipsey and, Nipsey, and Co- right? Kodak ain't really friends. Yeah, but uh, that's even worse. <laughs> With Stevie. He With Stevie, he married his friend wife. Damn. Like, I mean, even though me. Damn, I didn't remember that. Damn. Yeah. But then Kodak, I don't know how to take that because, you know, Kodak is a bit slow. So, I mean, I don't know if he know how to. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying. I don't know if he know how to express himself. Probably. Probably. I'm Probably. With you on so, this toy. when he said what he said, I feel like people took it the wrong way. Kind of. Because he. I mean. <laughs> what was his exact words? Is that what he said? I don't remember. I was not interested in But I know one of them asked him if he trying to shoot a shot, and he was like, no. He's going to give it like a year or two to mourn. Two or three years. Yeah, to, to mourn the death. Mourn, yeah. You know, and then, you know, And if she need a friend or... To, uh, yeah. He, she, yeah. Y'all think so, Kodak see himself? That's it. He doesn't like, have any memory. He, he doesn't know. That's why I say he's slow. He was literally <laughs> he on live. <laughs> with in snot the eye running the down his nose. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a big piece of snot <laughs> hanging down his nose and talking through the whole life like nothing was there like it was right here big but kodak is careful so that's why i say I he's want slow he's a he bit slow yeah, once you have you know, you slow nice resources once you have good resources i think that part is he get women because he have money thank you bye Y'all gotta stop doing all kind of things for money i think he got a turd leg too that's what it is Leave it up to Mandy. Mandy, what gave you that idea that he has a third leg? It's Mandy. You guys. No, I wouldn't know me. I wouldn't know a theory. Well, when I saw the video with him on the jet ski going around the boat, <laughs> the boat that he wanted to drive, so called drive, um, let's just say he had a little print. <laughs> <laughs> I know. A little print. Oh, uh, big print. <laughs> okay. All you guys can go and fast forward and rewind and look for that. Yes. <laughs> It was there. Right now, it was like two nanoseconds. <laughs> I swear. <don't laughs> like, all I got was driving. She paused it at the right That's moment. That's like, I just never know who wearing gray, gray sweats. I just never knew. Perfect. 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 <laughs> You're weird. 
very much so. So y'all. It's funny to me about Mandisa though. You know why? Because like I remember when Mandisa used to oh, be shit. playing. Tell it. Talk she it. She used to be playing basketball with me. Eh? <laughs> Schoolies. Uh, Jeff talk Rogers. it. Rogers. Every yes. summer used to. I, that's how I know. It was so boy. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Now it's just we're gonna talk. Quinton. We're gonna talk later, Quentin. <laughs> I need to know more about <laughs> that was that was I need Aisha. to know more. Aisha. <laughs> need to know more about my best friend. Oh my I need gosh. to know more. Mm-hmm. I believe you. So y'all feel like it was insensitive though, even though you said wait like a couple years. I just didn't I, I expected it. Like, so okay. like yeah, this is something else that he said. So you don't really take it on. Well, I, I just feel like it's a bit extreme to mute him. They let other things fly. Like, right. guys, it's killing me, but y'all would ride hard for your friends. Like, mm-hmm. oh, disrespecting my boy, la, la, la. But doesn't he have, like, all kind of rape charges and what's not? Nobody thought to mute him. Then. No, they didn't but matter the charges. if he was raping right. women or no. that so, don't matter. It's like, okay, I understand that it's a bit insensitive, but. And it's like 22 charges or something, or 22 women, I don't know. I don't know. But it's a lot. So I mean, I mean, Lauren, I know what you like, but I don't think you like him. <laughs> so she talked up. And I don't, not to be, not to add to the insensitive, insensitivity, but how do you think Kodak is the only person that expressed that? Like no, seriously? He's probably in their mind. He's or probably maybe the only some, one. Some people. You don't think someone say that? You can't tell me, man. I'm not thinking that, but they're just not going to say it. No, Leah, you're right. He's probably just the only one who went out that public with it. He's probably the only famous person that went public with it. That's true. If you look at the live video, though, like, it was like he was in a setting, like, he was with his friends, his boys, and you know. Right. So, the whole stuff, uh, yeah. this type of conversation exactly. bound to happen when you were a bunch of your boys talking or whatever. And so, yeah, I didn't watch that and he got caught, the reality is he was live. And so, you know, you heard him when he was in. Oh, I thought he purposely went on. No, he was, he was just. He no, was just talking. He's yeah, talking. Right. Have yeah. you ever seen his lives? Yeah, he didn't come on and, I, and, yeah, he didn't and come come say, on and make a statement. Yeah, say, you know, he just was talking to his talking boys. And they was talking about Watch his lives. Like Toy said, you would be like, okay, I came back, I've diagnosed him. He is slow. <laughs> the lives you don't be doing nothing like he had a live he just standing up looking at the live right and they made a meme saying how the microwave is see me watching the food like he does <laughs> stuff like that there's no meaning behind some of his lives oh okay well if that's the case well yeah he just got catch that's all i don't think i don't think i need to go to the extreme of muting them and stuff right i mean they probably and then he, they took him down from the trap what the trap yeah, museum? And he said he, he didn't give them permission museum, in the first right? place right. to put the picture. On. <laughs> so he was like, whatever. <laughs> he's so nonchalant. Yeah, and he's, he's rude. But the thing is, definitely because of who it is, because it was Nipsey, and it's because of yeah, Lauren, right. and that yeah, type of attraction, the stuff that Nipsey did in the community. Like that's the thing. Whereas it's look bad. If yeah. it was someone else, I definitely don't see it would have been, or I think it would have been this big of a uproar to mute him and take him if it was someone else. I mean, but I wonder what they define disrespect as because a lot of them disrespectful the women in their music. So when you disrespect I mean, your boys, then that's being disrespectful. Whatever the trend is at that point, yeah. I feel like that's hit home. Because, right. Okay, I know Lauren for Ti, you know, like yeah, but that's still game, being a hypocrite. Yeah, I agree. That's still I agree. being a hypocrite. Yeah. Well, I guess they're muting Kodak because they're surely not muting him here. So <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Because he's still allowed, yeah. Very much so. On stage, throwing towel. Tie and, and shade. Yes. <laughs> throwing and trying to catch a towel at 3 o'clock in the morning. Just and uh, you know, he has a girlfriend. What? Like, throughout all of this. She was, like, I, anyway. She yeah, was, she was on stage with the little Cardi B bread. Like, throughout all of this. Yeah. So, like, him even talking about he wants to pursue Lauren. Like, I don't know, chat. I don't know. I, I guess he's each his own. Definitely wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> like, she be out of his lead. Uh, but listen to me, these celebrities are surprised Wait, me. So I, I don't know. think that would be a, a no. <laughs> that, Wait, no. That, uh, no, that would not happen. I don't think Shut so. Up. Wait, is it not Baby Daddy Lil Win? Yeah, but I mean. I mean, <laughs> come on. I don't uh, know. He ain't you the best looking man. Yeah, it's too tight. Yeah, but league. still, he's still. He, she's. And Kodak's not in, in a league. I mean, I feel like. Yeah. Was like 
that was before there, Nipsey. Even he was in... <laughs> yeah, that was Leo. before <laughs> Nipsey, but I mean, that was Lil Wayne was like on on top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He on top. He didn't look goodish there. I think yeah, it's too Lil Wayne did look Lil goodish? It's Jokey yeah. Ogly, that's Wayne. And then you get the serious Ogly, that's Kodak. Lil Wayne is serious, ugly. You better what? You better pray. Um, Regina don't go come across this. So no, she don't play. Girl, trust me. She don't play. With, if your daddy ugly, daddy. ugly. Just Everybody like, ain't black. You would look from your mom. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, we going on break? Cause yeah, we going on break. We coming back. Welcome to the big talk. This is your girl, Latoya Laughs, and I want you guys to check out Big Talks Podcast every Saturday on YouTube. Quinn's in light one, just letting y'all know to check out Big Talks on YouTube each and every Saturday. Thank you. This because it's provocative, gets the people going. We got like three fine gals. Hey guys, I am Mandita. Mandy, I mean, she has a very, uh, exclusive personality I guess she's like the va va boom like she's there you know anything that has to do with sex she's an expert okay so uh let's just so we're clear I'm not in E Street Lee how does one describe Leah Leah is the facts person. And if it's not true, she's coming back and she's gonna say, guys, we're gonna have to omit that because something was wrong. That's Leah. I'm Brie. Brie is the HBIC. She keeps everyone in line, everyone in check. My sister. Well, Ambry is the brains behind this operation. Yeah, we got pop culture, we got entertainment culture, we got sex. Yeah, relationship advice gives you everything. Best podcast ever. Welcome to the Big Talks. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. You have to start timing this, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> she does this every episode, by the way. Okay, why well, we just don't play the song, like? Because I sound better singing it. Sorry. Jeez. Yeah, I can talk to Rambo she about it. She getting my flow. I'm sorry, I just. Only because she got the shirt tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Many Africans come for you on the show. I can't help you, okay? My name is African. Name, so they. That ain't enough. Lisa <laughs> 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 Fayola. <laughs> Anyway, so we are back with the main discussion. Hey. The reason why you guys are still here, but we switching it up a little bit. Um, we need you guys to learn how to be financially stable, responsible, millennial adults. adults. Got all of that? Millennial. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. So yeah. we got. Uh, I'm, even if he's not, I'm gonna call him our financial advisor, Quentin. He's gonna give spiritual advisor. <laughs> Sorry. <Yes. laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> right so quentin let us know what you need to know okay well i'll definitely let y'all know what you need to do i'm a certified financial planner um i work in investments and pensions and stuff like that so i deal with investments and stuff like that so it's a very important thing that i think a lot of persons millennials anyone should know to take financial planning tips very seriously because you all know i i want to study finance because okay I think most people in here and i think the pond as well like money or would want to have more money mm-hmm. yeah and so it's very yep. important about planning <laughs> and ensuring that you can have more money and it's possible once you have self-discipline once you know the correct <sighs> steps on what to do 
it can be possible it's not as bad and as gloomy as you may think but it's really doable out here and i think that's the important thing and you know trying to do stuff like this trying to inspire and empower young women and Definitely. persons in our age group is very impactful for me discipline is hard very hard um because we are fashion over oh yes for females it yeah. definitely <laughs> is you know yeah fashion over at hennessy um so and Stoli. i was wondering like bank like bank account i think i might be saying it wrong mm. you was on rodney no what show one show you was on that yeah. day um forgive me i don't like tv lots of funny shows yeah. um one of those shows and i think you were saying something about bank accounts yeah about bank accounts is like persons use a lot of commercial accounts right commercial bank accounts do you know take a while i guess how much money you make for when you deposit money in a commercial bank how much interest you get mm. less than one percent <laughs> You don't gain any real interest when you put your money in a commercial bank. You get less than one percent interest. You get mm -hmm. a lot of fees. You know when you debit. Yeah. When you pull out, they charge you for takeoffs, ten dollars. Like uh, okay. Put and on so, another ten. Yeah. <laughs> and so one of the key things I saw about that has the best fixed term deposit. Like I advise person, if you're trying to save and be serious about saving, look at fixed term deposit. Serious that like you're gonna put the money in there so it can ensure that it matures for you. And some of the credit unions has the best return rates. Like. Bahama Islands Cooperative Credit Union, they have the best. They give you 3% every year in terms of whatever you deposit. You can start with a minimum of $500. So you're saying put my money in, the, save save it in the credit union as yes. opposed to the bank. Yes. Get more that money. way I wouldn't swipe, like take it off yes. and swipe and, it. Yes, and that's the other thing. You know, you have my limited problem. access to it. And that's the problem. I give the analogy all the time. Like I used to like homemade bread. You know, and who made bread? Where does go in? I hate Monday. Thursday morning. Thursday morning. You freaking put that out there. And when you keep on pinching and you pinching the bread, and then you realize all the bread gone. Same thing when you put when you have your debit card. You, we all know. Let me pinch on the fifty here, yeah. the twenty here, yeah, hundred there. Then you look, food. it's gone. So that's about being smart and having self-discipline. And that right there, the credit unions give you better. Um, return on your interest and then definitely you don't have easy access to it nice that makes sense so what about loans you suggest that you get loans or should i just go in the ASU? should i do a loan well definitely um <laughs> i would not say loan no 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 scheme no something express none of those stuff you know so you got to be smart about it now i would say be smart with the loans as well now some loans stay away from i still don't see the need why some persons do prom loans what yes some persons go to the bank for loans for a prom that's the reality y'all stupid yes some leah say it again y'all stupid <laughs> yeah so you call it predatory lending be a person's i mean i don't want to step on no one's toes either right but vacation loans make no sense i, yeah. I yeah. agree with that yes. too i didn't understand like, that yeah. they are big out there the bank's doing them because a lot of persons go in there and get them. Yeah, vacation loans make no sense in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I would tell anyone as a financial advisor, financial planner, that this make no sense. If you just cannot, you have to have discipline. If you can't do it, don't do it. Don't do right. It. You live in a country where millions of people come every year. Yeah. You know? Vacation now. <laughs> you vacation. Oh. vacation. You go across the bridge. <laughs> right. Chill out right there. Two dollars. So, thank you. <laughs> and so these are the things. Like, I think a vacation loan is definitely something that... I think person's got to stay far away from and it's i have a problem with it because i could go on my lunch break and get a unsecured loan a car loan within an hour i call me a bank or some commercial bank yeah now if you go there you all try to go there for a business loan or a mortgage or are you waiting for a couple months, months to yeah. get approval so the thing is that's if you look true. at it if it's easy you got to view it and see if it makes sense and that's one important thing so loans are definitely necessary I'm not saying don't get loans because it's impossible sometimes to get certain things you want without loans but just be very smart about it because you don't want to get sucked in and then persons paying loans and debt for the rest of their life so how do you feel about secret bank accounts like me what well, should i say secret is it a secret like if me and my husband are together and i have a bank account that he doesn't know about hmm like who don't know about my husband, my husband. oh anything to say he, he's supposed to know about the bank account <laughs> okay what about, wow. well i would say this in my financial experience i've discovered that females tend to have more private accounts than men mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sitting on a bar with most of the ladies y'all find that that's kind of common or y'all heard that before <coughs> a lot of females have, no no i heard it before no. you heard it before right and so my thing is <laughs> if you feel the need 
that if you want to have a private account that's on you now i personally believe you should tell your significant other that okay that this is my i have an account here it should not be a secret that he he don't have to know what in it but just know okay if you're married at least in my opinion if you married mm-hmm, you know definitely yeah relationships are different but yeah. if you married i think definitely you should say well you know you should tell your husband well you know i have this account at scotia buying this for my savings but i think i can't tell him when we when it's necessary i have to tell him at the beginning yeah because uh, then i feel like when i tell him i need this 200 dollars, he could say what well, happened to the account but i mean it's a trust <laughs> it's a relationship i'm like later like if something happened and, like, <laughs> and i'd be like all right i got it i get something and then just go to it how would you feel from, how would you I feel if he, had a, if he had a private <laughs> account don't tell you how would you feel uh, i feel like he's i'd kill him He's, oh, what? He's I a good one. Leah said woman. she would kill him. Why would See? you kill him, Leah? <laughs> I'd Why? kill him. Why would you be upset? Because that 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 could be spent on me. What? 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 So, so, saving so, it so you have a sweetheart you. or something? Like, no, 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 no. who you spend this money on? If it fall, he's saving. If it fall, he, he he still could be funding a sweetheart. What you think about it, Toya? What you think? I don't see why it should be secret. You don't see why. I don't see why unless you unless you were an abusive man and you want to. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's the only reason it should be secret. Like if you're afraid of him and you're trying to, you know, save up this money to and he's skip down, down, skip or down and okay. change the name. If you have a good man and you also, you know, I agree with cool, you. He's a good one. You could just be like, I have an account for myself. So what if I want? I mean, what's wrong with that? What if I want to keep it secret? In case we get divorced, I don't want him to know. Like, to nah, I know, touch that. I know. Well, okay. but no, but every week I'm going to say something else. Uh, Girl, I have to give the people the scenarios. What, do, what y'all saying? If what? So you, just in case you get divorced. But the thing is, yeah. if it's your bank account, right? Yeah. It's just your name on it. So exactly. divorce or not divorce. No, but see, you just don't want him to know at all. Yeah, because if me and John getting married, right? And uh-huh. I touch. <laughs> John and we be like, okay, we doing a what you call it? No, 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 free knock, right? Yes. And I tell John about that. He may say, well, why you want to put this account, the Commonwealth account, in the pre No, but I mean, you don't have to put it there. You could say, well, my bank account is not going in this prenup. The prenups don't exist in the Bahamas, so you don't worry about that. You could <laughs> tell them what you want, what you no. want in the prenup, and then you have to agree and sign it. But I don't have to put my bank account in the prenup. Then yeah. he can feel like I ain't gonna stay for the marriage. Like if I tell him I don't wanna put it, then he may be like, "So you trying to leave?" Yeah, but no, but that leads me problem. to think, like that leads me to think that relation, like financial conversations, are very important when you come to a relationship. Like those are the reasons why a lot of marriages are failing because of financial constraints yeah. in marriage. Not infidelity, you know. You'll be surprised. Financial, about different expectations. A lot of people I stay together. Slides, yeah. yeah. Slides into fidelity. Yeah. After, yeah. After you see, and so yeah. those are the things. Like I tell person all the time, persons, you in a relationship, you doing what you gotta do. You doing growing business with your significant other, but y'all ain't talking about finances. Y'all ain't talking about oh, what we doing or what we can do financially together. Mm-hmm. But you doing everything else. You know, y'all can grow and the lights off. <laughs> but like I say, these are the things that are very important that should be done and discussed in a relationship though, because they can cause a big problem. So, what about this 50-50 rule? You know, you got to touch on it. Like 50-50 or 100-0. Um, what I mean is, like with the guy, should it be a thing whereas if me and my husband, or me and my significant other, because y'all like live together, living together or whatever. Y'all, y'all, Because y'all like live together. Yeah, they like wow. live together. I I'll mean, Leah, you know how I felt I from Kadai's episode. Tea. I like my bed. Um... If we making the same amount of money or if yeah. I'm making more than my significant other, should the he is the provider, he pays for most of the the supply or okay. you think it should be fifty fifty, which I think. I think it depends on the man, honestly, and his core belief system. So <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, because yeah, it's like what you want to do, because if I don't have to pay nothing, it's fine. With me. Right? If, if you want to be the provider and protector, I can let you do that. We can do you, man. You know, but if we gotta do this modern fifty-fifty thing, I can do that too. So what you would do? The conversation, right? Uh. <laughs> what you saying, Mandy? Uh, I think fifty-fifty is fine. At the same time. 
I kind of agree with Leah. I think a conversation could happen because you just have men who want to be that provider. If I'm, even though I'm making, let's just say I am making more than him, he probably still wants to be that provider, and still wants to do. At the same time, if I know I'm making more than him, I'm probably most likely going to probably dip my hand in it. So it's probably going to become fifty. So what I want to know is, if we doing fifty fifty, is he still the head of the household? Yes. Yes. Is your husband? <laughs> I think your husband. you will get married. I, <laughs> yes, that is, that is yes. That you is single husband. and ready to mingle. You know oh. <laughs> so you, you, you don't think you don't think that he would be head of household if he's splitting 50-50 financially? You know, head of household. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. is a two-headed monster. No, incorrect. Okay, okay, I'll bring Hold this up. Came from Adam. <laughs> hmm. Incorrect. I feel like we should be on one accord. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna switch my answer. Oh. <laughs> uh, let me let me sit with you for a minute. So it can we can be partners that's, in this yeah, household. That's what I was thinking. I don't have a problem with you being partners, but she's saying head of the household. No 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 no. I'm saying I'm not saying I'm gonna take over because I'm making more money. I'm saying we could be like Leah say partners. He right. ain't tell he ain't calling the shots. No like, one's inferior. If I wanna add this channel, he can't tell me I can't add HBO because he's dead household. See, you, I'm not okay. <laughs> That's one thing with I must say with women. Okay, you making more. Oh, you can't do this and you can't do that. But a lot of men don't do that to women. When they make it more, they don't treat women like that. True. But women, oh gosh, if they make it more. Listen here, I make it more money than Amen. you and I Amen. say this for Amen. Yeah. I, I think you need to be fair. Yeah, no, I'm saying he can't. It have to be so like it have to be like a conversation. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, it, it can't be a thing whereas you telling me you, I just don't feel like you telling me you see, stay at a household so what you say go that's what I'm saying I well, feel like I mean, it even be a without, the, without the finances I definitely don't think it should be okay whatever he says goes. there gotta be saying, a compromise yeah. and everything. I feel like it should be a, there is uh, a head conversation. for say of a household like in terms of you know if the guy or the man should lead the household I personally I firmly believe that you know men yeah you know you should lead and most women most women want a man that will lead them yes. yeah so i don't think that would be an issue i think if it's a 50 50 financial situation i think like i say it has to be a conversation some men are very much of a huge ego like okay yeah. i can still do what i gotta do yeah that's fine but sorry i grew up in a single parent home and i see how my mommy do what i gotta do and if you was a woman doing your thing i ain't stopping you we, we split however it is that's if it's 50 50 now you have some differences where i've seen females where they make uh seventy thousand in a mile make thirty five thousand, and it's still 50 50 mm-hmm. even though she make double his salary right. mm-hmm. they still do a 50 50 because mm-hmm. she wants to understand that she still wants him to feel like a man and i think right. that's, that's the right. important thing you yeah. don't want to demoralize him right. you know right. and that's a big thing you know no, but yeah I, those situations are good but i i've seen situations where the guy is like he ain't even working and the girl taking care of him but he telling her how shot. to go and come yeah i don't I, think that makes sense that happened to me <laughs> it was the doggy <laughs> <laughs> i could just be real it happened to me i that yeah, one don't make sense no to job, me uh-huh. no men now it's taking care it's like jody and it's clean Yvette. yeah at least it was clean Baby boy i'm sorry yeah, at least it's cleaning and, cleaning and what? cooking no. and wow. cleaning. <laughs> he just was laying there. Wow. It's girls like you. <laughs> I think every, I almost every girl has been to a situation like mm-hmm. that. I've definitely been to it. Mm-hmm. And more than once. But the second time. <laughs> you learn. You learn your lesson. No, the first time, they had a job. It was just on and off with jobs. The second one, no job, no job. Wow. You know, but guess what? He didn't look like it, and no one would have ever known he had a pretty Jonesa. Oh, I love her. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did. I took care of a man before. Yeah. But guess what? I got my blessings, though. Y'all had his testimony. Sorry, hi babe. And y'all learn, learn to learn from people's testimony sometimes. Yes. Don't feel like y'all gotta go do that. Like, no, oh, I gotta go, go do learn. this. No, to go do it, man. Like, learn from Please. Stop taking care and of that man who don't want work. Hmm. Bring him home some applications. Hell's about it. I agree. She won't be a fight and let me get flashbacks. Yes. Like. <laughs> 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 Woo! What I'm just like, uh, you hear me when, yeah, today, you hear me. Oh, so yeah, so Toy, how you feel about that situation with ladies like 
my her former past life that take care of the you still feel like the man's supposed to be leader when it's like that like if he just ain't working I mean I'm uh, trying I don't know <laughs> Like, why you hell? <laughs> I mean, I guess if, if he making the initiative to like try to look for a job, but he just ain't finding a job, you know what I mean? Like, That's he different. just laying yeah. there. As I say, the first one. Now, if he just laying the there and how long is how long is too long to wait for him? That's true. That's the good question. How long is too long to wait for him to get back on his feet? Because if, if you're in a relationship, now, now I say if he tries, yeah. okay, I could, you could wait but a while. He, but he if he's trying, but it ain't working though. The job just ain't yeah. coming through. How long is too long for you to wait? You've been trying you. for like a year. I meet him yeah. trying, or like, he yeah, just, you meet him trying. He been a jail, eh? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you meet him trying. How long is too long? Wait, I got definitely I got not no yes. Right? Yeah, yeah definitely no, not no yes. So what? A year and a half. Man, I That's feel like you could long. find something That's to do. Long. Wash car, yeah, cut shit. grass, no, something. Like, mm-hmm. You better make a job. I giving mm-hmm. you six months and you better start doing something. Six months. Yeah, you, you gotta that. start. Dying what I do. <laughs> Dying what I do. But I just let y'all know, don't go by my mistakes. Six mistakes months, like Leah say, and if yeah. ain't nothing come about, you better start cutting grass, washing car, doing something, and then maybe you can get but you can't be sitting down yeah because yeah. i grin and come in making moves <laughs> yeah like every time i go in and come in and then every time you come home something might be outside like that's letting you know so leave with charlie <laughs> you're gonna have to go <laughs> say something could be outside <laughs> that's what you say like watch you one yeah, day yeah. <laughs> yes morning hey, you're leaving <laughs> oh, i see my, my nike slippers by the door, by the door. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. oh okay so y'all got some free you gave like a free consultation yes y'all listen to me y'all just be getting all talk. kind of free stuff from us the least you could do is subscribe <laughs> <laughs> Rambo, you never, put it to the never ramble don't read us anyway <laughs> we're gonna end this episode it was lovely yeah, yeah it was you guys want to come back y'all like this yeah, yes. I, I just put it out there in the universe. Oh, wow, <laughs> she kicking her leg like a little rude little chair. What you want to say so we could go? I put this out there in the universe. I want to do a video of Latoya last, but I can tell Latoya that. <laughs> Tall face. <laughs> Where are you? I don't. You here? No. I, I put it out there. I mean, whenever I mean, whenever I, mean, whenever I come Anthony. back. No, no, no. I mean, so. if you in this room now. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm in this room. This is making sure. She I don't have you. a problem with that. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's good, Randy. Opportunities. <laughs> let the people know and let let Toya know better find her because she's not here. Toya, <laughs> how you doing, girl? <laughs> Miss Laughs. I'm Andisa Cub on LinkedIn and Facebook. Mandisa Lady Seven on Twitter. Mandisa Lady on IG. Okay, Lily. Okay, that was that was a lot. <laughs> you know what, Quinta? I expected you to have a LinkedIn. Listen to me. I do. Shit. Hello, Leo. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Much. I do. When's your birthday? April twentieth. Yo, Taurus. It's like I think it's a switch day between Aries and Taurus. Yeah, on the cusp. You're more Taurus. Yeah. You're LinkedIn, you're more Taurus. <laughs> okay. Because LinkedIn only is a Taurus thing. Taurus again, guys. <laughs> okay. He only a Taurus. He a full anyway. <laughs> like, he a full Taurus. He's a mix Taurus. He's on the cusp. But anyway. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at E-L-L-E-A-N-I-S-E. All right. And Latoya, let the people know your handles one more time for the heart of hearing. Uh, you can find me on Latoya Laughs on Instagram and Latoya Dean on Facebook. All right. And Quentin? Yes. You can follow me on Instagram at Q.Lightborn on Twitter, Q underscore Lightborn. And look out for Q's investment tips each and every Friday in the Nassau Guardian. Mm. All right. I don't th- did I give y'all the handles at the no, beginning? No, I didn't. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> you can't even tell them to rewind. No, so I'm going to have to say it now. Okay. Brie Bombshell on IG and on Twitter. Brie Sands on Facebook. And the most important handle is this podcast. Big Talks 242 on every social media platform. Big Talks Podcast on YouTube. On Apple Podcasts. On Spotify. On Breaker. On everywhere you can find podcasts. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys next week. Bye. Welcome to the Big Talks. Yeah.